Good morning, guys. Hi, Key. Hey, Lone. Hey, Momo. Hi, Riz. Hi, Bossip. Hi, Shadow. Uh, Turbo. Nether. Andy. Unicorn. Um, I I think that's Russian. Sorry, I can't I can't read. Uh, hold on, I need to use. I think I need to use Google Translate here. Hold on, let me just see if I can use Google Translate. Hopefully, it's not like toxic. <laughs> I seem to get that a lot. Oh, is it? How do you pronounce your name? Is it? Daniel, Daniel. Thanks, uh, thanks, Tank. Uh, let me just read the comments. Uh, hi, Thierry. Uh, yeah, a lot have been asking me if I'm uh, going to be quitting War Robots soon. I already actually put out a video. Um, was it like two weeks ago or so? Uh, where I basically said that I will be scaling back. Um, this is why on Sundays, usually I live stream like more robots on Sundays. And I've been doing like other games, you know, Fortnite, PUBG, Overwatch 2. Uh, recently it was um, Armored Core. Yeah, so I've been, I've been doing other games uh, more to just scale back and like transition into an, like another game. Um, I will be testing out another mech game, which it's kind of like in its early stages, which I do want to kind of showcase on my channel as well. Um, because that might be playing a role, like a bigger role, I guess, on my channel. Uh, what is my streaming? So I use OBS. I think most use OBS. Um, not Streamlabs though, uh, this one is uh, OBS Studio. Streamlabs apparently has a lot of bloatware. Um, I think it does because I know when I was using it, I was like lagging up pretty bad. Uh, which is crazy because my PC is actually pretty good. Uh, Armored Core 6 is crazy hard. It's not so much the like... Because I know players are going to say the reason why I don't play it is because the skill level is too hard. It actually has nothing to do with that. I actually find Fortnite a lot harder to play than that. Um, although I did struggle, you got to keep in mind too that I've never played an Armored Core game before. And that was literally my first day. So yeah, obviously it's going to be hard. Um, but the struggles that I've had in Fortnite have been far worse than like that. In fact, even now after playing one year, you know, I do struggle against like some players just because they're that good. They've been playing for like four or five years. Um, so yeah, um, it's not really a skill issue. What I find actually with Armored Core, um, so one thing that I, I don't really like too much with War Robots. So you know when you're playing and you have a lot of effects going off and you, you know, you find your rockets or whatever at the enemy and there's a lot of explosions going off. There's a lot of visual clutter. Um, aside from all the other indicators that are flashing on the left and right side of your screen, um, that sometimes you don't even know what you're shooting. Now, if you take a look at the live stream, which I did with Armored Core, I mean, that's like a toned down version, but you can already see some of the elements of that where there's just utter chaos. I mean, chaos is good, provided you can actually see what you're shooting. When you have all these effects going off, like if you watch others that stream that game, you know, three versus three, especially, there is a lot going on um, and I find also that when you're aiming at your target there's an auto aim so basically as long as I'm aiming in that area it will lock on and I can fire my weapons and it'll go in that direction. Fortnite you don't have that you know if a player starts flying at you you don't have like an auto aim you literally you have to aim at them or I should say lead the target it depends on what you're firing uh, but yeah that actually makes it and then you obviously have movement which plays a very big role. Um, it's hard to kind of explain um, unless I kind of introduce you to Fortnite, um, you know, at the beginner stages, and then I start to explain it, and then you will understand and appreciate that game differently. 
Hey Josh. Hi chickens. Uh, when's the next War Robots Frontier stream? I'm not going to be doing any Frontiers. Um, as I mentioned with my um, my one video, I'm uh, skating back on War Robots uh, content, which is why I'm not streaming War Robots on on the Sundays. And I said if things get worse, then I'll be scaling back even further. Uh, this is why I'm doing other games as well, uh, just to kind of get my uh, my viewers and my subscribers warmed up to the idea that we might be covering another game on my channel. Um, so that's kind of where we stand with that. Um, try Call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty apparently has a lot of cheaters, though. I, yeah, I can't stand with that. But even even those games so i played like overwatch 2 which i mean i i know it's not like call of duty and i played battle bits remastered which actually is very close to it um i don't really enjoy those games as much as i used to like i started with a first person shooter like that's what i used to play before um but in all honesty <laughs> i know this sounds kind of corny but fortnite actually ruined all of that for me it set the bar very high Can you try to stream Fortnite? Yeah, like I said, I if you want, guys, um, and you can always like chime in in the live chat or like the comment section if you want. I can kind of introduce you to Fortnite. You know, when I first started playing, um, how the game works, and like how I progressed as a player. Now, obviously, all my live streams. What many don't know is that I've actually been streaming that game for one year straight pretty much six hours or more a day now for the ones who actually do follow me uh you know on that channel and know about it you guys can mention it in the chat and you can uh <laughs> you can tell the others whether i'm telling the truth or not but yeah i've been playing a lot of fortnite how is the new i'm actually liking it a lot it's very refreshing because we have a lot of mobility items and stuff. It's very fast paced. You play Fortnite because of me? Yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I keep mentioning it. But how are you liking it though? You don't play you don't play builds, right? Because I know that you were saying that you didn't enjoy that. Anyways, let me just get started with this and we can chat about like Fortnite and other games and stuff while I'm playing because the stream really is about the behemoth with the Cestus. And uh, is it worth it? So uh, if you just happen to watch the stream, you know, afterwards and you, you know, all this talk about <laughs> quitting war robots, Fortnite and stuff, apologies. We're going to start with uh, the build here. So we do have the Cestus, 500 meter range, five second reload time. These are medium range uh, grenade launches. Um, again, I actually found this kind of weird and I made this comparison like, so this shoots explosive shells, but yet the Scorcher or I guess the incinerate, let me just check. There's an energy weapon which makes no sense at all. Actually, wait, I didn't even check this. Or did they? Yeah, energy shells. But yet it explodes, right? Burning with scorching flames. I don't know. The way the way that they, they do things is kind of weird. You like Xerobold? Yeah, it's it's very exciting. It's like PUBG on steroids. It really is. I played PUBG and I mean it was okay but man I was missing the mobility like I'm running around most times. Annoying uh, but it's annoying because of what though. Um, so yeah what's the point of running the behemoth over the crisis? Behemoth is actually more tankier and that makes a very big difference um, when you are trying to hold down a beacon for example. Um, Crisis, I see more as a, um, it's like a sniper. It's kind of, you got to put it in the same class as like a Jaeger, you know, like you would run a Jaeger to snipe, but you wouldn't use it to hold a beacon down because you'll just flat out die quickly. Yeah. So yeah, this is like, I mean, it, it really is very tanky. Hi Goku.
PUBG is rubbish. I don't know. There's a lot of players that like uh, like the game. Yeah, it's very popular. I don't think it's necessarily rubbish, as you say. Like, I'm sure everyone has different tastes, you know? Like, you might like... There might be some that really love War Robots. And, you know, there's many of us that are saying that it's not worth playing now at this point. You know, myself included, by the way. Um, but that's our opinion, you know? You're going to have different opinions. It's just like that. Oh... Uh, Everyone noticed, like, whenever I drop in on this map, I'm always on this side. It's like the worst possible side to be on. Because that we're actually on the side which takes longer to get into center. Which... That guy blew my uh, shields. Yeah. I, I, it took me a while to get here. I just hope that my... Uh... I don't have any teammates to help me here either. Yeah, I was the only one pushing. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. This is actually a very odd map to play that behemoth build because I need to get very close. And this is kind of weird. Okay, so we have five guys here, right? Why doesn't this guy push? This guy's literally hiding in his spawn. I have to drop in over here, though. gonna jump where is this guy we should have really have pushed um their home we're gonna be punished for that now i may not actually be able to get to center here I need a double jump. That's why I'm kind of waiting. But also, what is my teammates doing? Okay, so we have one guy running. Okay, we got, we got it. We got it. We got it. Don't push me out into the open, dude. You want me to kill that uh, guy? I need to make sure that we stay here. This guy's gonna kill me. See if I can use the hill as cover, maybe? Nope. Okay, we got him. We got him. This build's actually not that bad. This one that I'm running right now. I like the reload. It works well with the, uh, the Mars. So wait a minute. If we got... Which beacon do we lose? Trying to get him down to his last stand. The 
This guy is all by himself, yeah. You know what I notice about like this particular um this particular build? So you notice like how like if a player is behind a wall, I can't fire like I can with like incinerators. You know where you can fire on the side of a wall so that they get that splash? You can't do it with this build. So wait, how do we have five beacons now all of a sudden? So we actually got their home. I don't know, I'm, I'm confused. You don't know why they're going to be nerfing. Yeah, that, that part doesn't kind of really make sense to me. I There's a lot of counters to Mars right now. This game is going to be over. Yeah, we're going to get that beacon there. He's moving towards... We have two players moving here. This is a weird game. They ran out of bots. I don't know if they ran out of bots. I think they just gave up their beacons. And then the game just turned. You know, if you give up your beacons, you're going to end up losing a lot of bots. You might think you're protecting your one bot, but you're actually giving up that bot. That's the rest of your hangar if you, you can't get your beacon back. That was a weird game. I don't even know what to make out of it. They should have they should have actually held down center if they had held down center we wouldn't have won that game we would have gone we would have been through a ton of bots and the thing is they actually had an edge because you know uh from the spawn that i was in that's the worst possible spawn on that map because they are closer to three beacons so they already have an edge before we even started running <laughs> yep Look at, so look at this so this is what this is a big problem uh, with you know with a lot of players so you see how they're all sitting back here but this is beacon rush so they're gonna let us they didn't even get their own home beacon by the way these players are in like this is champion league they didn't even get their own home beacon what the heck are they doing you want me to take your beacon for you okay they still didn't get it Oh my gosh. You know, some someone actually commented under my one video saying that uh, it's because I'm playing against bots. Like, these aren't real players. No, I'm pretty sure they're real because I've seen these players a long time. They didn't even get their own home beacon. We have another guy there. Uh, I guess I will drop in with my behemoth now. The game's almost over though. They still haven't gotten their home beacon. We're almost two minutes into the game. <laughs> I don't know why my team's waiting. We should just bum rush them. <laughs> they still haven't gotten their beacon. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should just... They got it now, but I mean... Game's almost over. I just decided to rush in. Might as well. Uh... I guess the game's over. <laughs> Yep.
And so at this point, even if the red team got four beacons, it's already over because the beacon bar will still be depleting. So now they're fighting. <laughs> the game's over, yeah. I, d I don't know, like, it's kind of funny. You know, when I see players like that. So these are real players, by the way. They're not bots. This is just how it is in Champion League now. Bots would have protected the home beacon. Like. Just so that, like, so we can take a look. Because a lot of times players tell me, well, the reason why is because they don't have MK2 or MK3 equipment. Well, let's see if it's true. I didn't even check this guy's hangar, by the way. So you can see, they have MK3. They have a Max Art Luchador too. So it's not that, like, that's not the reason why. Yikes, this guy's got a Shiranga with Striker. Mind you, this player here is, he's actually running lower level stuff. But he also hasn't qualified yet. Which is interesting. This guy has a Rook. You know what, what I think too? They probably couldn't charge up their Titans quick enough. Because they didn't go for those beacons. I mean, they have rook Like, that's two Rooks here that are maxed out. Why is it... Oh gosh, here we go again. We're getting a billion offers. You have to pay money in order to be able to win. Uh, no, I wouldn't even say that. Um, so it's more just to get the items quicker. The winning part, I, would, I don't agree with. You saw that last game. Those players, they did have winning, like they had meta stuff, right? But they obviously... But they didn't even go for beacons. They didn't even go for their home beacon. Let alone our beacons. Uh, is the stream constantly freezing up? Uh, I hope not. Everything seems fine on my end. So wait, why... I'm confused now because this game the same. Red team just gave me their beacon. He just he's gonna give me the beacon. Uh okay. So this game is pretty much over. Red team's not even dropping in. Or either they're not dropping in or they... Well, I guess that's game over. <laughs> it's like TDM. It is like TDM. Like, why would I even... So here's the thing. Why would I need a maxed hanger even for when players play like this? Why would I even want to invest? You know what I mean? Players need to learn how to play first for it to be to that point. Yeah, this game is over. I mean, they spawn. I mean, I, I didn't even get to run my behemoth. Maybe I should have started with that first. I guess I can drop in with it now? Might get... I might die, though, to titans. Let's hit this guy. Yep, definitely over. Whoa! <laughs> that one... He went flying. The rook pushed him.
the enemy team is acting really weird this is the thing a lot of players play this way though it's not just because i'm i mean you know players will say it's because i'm using a br account everything's maxed out even when i play on my baby account which is 100 percent free and i have low level players play this way i can never understand like why they do Uh, Hari, even... So, I don't have any nethers in my lineup. I don't have any links. I'm using a Raven and, like, a Mars and an Invader. Like, I know it's uh, I know it's higher level. Uh, but the thing is, the problem is, even if I was to use my baby account, you would be able to see players still play the same way. So I'm guessing that my team now is going to be the one that plays that way, or... So like this guy, so this nether, you notice how he's dashing off the beacon, he should have stayed on the beacon. If he had stayed on the beacon, they would have had a chance to get this beacon, this side beacon. Although I think we gave up our home, right? He's going to drop in over here. Yeah, we only have one beacon right now. He used his ability. I might be able to turn. Yep, we've turned this. He's going to blind me. Uh, let's do that. I thought that was the enemy. Because <laughs> I couldn't see I was blinded. What on earth is going on here? Oh my gosh, guys. We just had the left side. We just gave it up. I think, I think I'm gonna, I want to drop that behemoth in, but I can't just yet. Oh, shoot. Okay, we have a bit of a problem here. We've got a rook in our spawn. And I want to, I want to push another beacon, but I can't. Oh shoot! No, suppress. Look at my team. <laughs> and coming. Waiting for his shield to drop here. I think we've lost this. I'm trying to see if I can maybe do some damage to that Heimdall back there. I was suppressed though. Ah! Yeah, some new faces in the stream. Yeah, I think we'll have some new viewers. Hi, Ratchet. What has happened to the game? Yeah, that's how it ended. We gave up our home beacon. 
So what happened in the other games that we had pretty much happened to me in this game. Uh, the Vox clan streams here, yeah, the hacking ruined. Actually, <laughs> it wasn't just hacking, it was exploiting. But now I actually also found out like a couple of days ago, some of the creators were actually rigging their giveaways so that their clan mates and their friends would get the prizes. I mean, they've since been kicked out of the creator program, but still, that just goes to show you how messed up things are. Wait, how did that guy die? He died to... Someone had a Crisis Reaper on our team, I guess? Yeah, he just gave me the beacon. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. I guess I'm gonna go for this beacon and they're gonna get off the beacons too, right? Dude, I didn't even get it. I should just start with the behemoth. Wait, did this guy crash? He's not moving. No, he didn't. Trying to see if I can do some damage to him. We couldn't knock a weapon off. We have someone over here in our spawn. These weapons actually do a decent amount of damage, but I don't think this build's worth it. Behemoth dies too quick in the current meta. What is this guy shooting me with? You still run into the authors? I run into a couple of authors. They don't do well in the current uh, meta though. You know what would be interesting would be if they gave the author the same kind of like module configuration as the luchador you know make it really really tanky i'm trying to get closer here but i got hit by an orbital strike so kind of hard to move okay, so he's down to his last stand can't fire at him yet Ooh. Ah! Uh oh. <laughs> We've seen a jumping spider, but have you seen a flying one? Wait, did we kill that guy? We got rid of the Heimdall. There's still the Newton that's gonna kill me though. I think. 
I'm just trying to help out these guys here so that we can get that beacon. That's the Newton for you. He's dead. You want to get rid of Newtons, you got to attack them early on so that they don't build up their resistance with the uh, Titan Repair Amp. I can't move yet. Robots are flying. It's the Newton. It has. That's the Newton's ability. Your Arthur struggles with Indra. I think. So in the current meta, you need a Titan that can move really fast. Um, like whether it be dashing or whether it be jumping. Uh, if you have that and you have like a reflector shield or like, you know, the ability of the Indra, then it helps a lot. Which will kill Skyros quicker, Flames or the Toxic? I actually don't know. It makes sense for the Toxic weapons because of the Corrosion, but they were actually nerfed. So I would actually go with maybe Flames. Uh, but then with Flames, you gotta remember, you gotta lock that Skyros down if you want it to do a lot of damage. Flying spiders exist in Australia. I know I've heard of like flying squirrels. <laughs> I don't know about flying spiders. There's jumping spiders though. I know of jumping spiders. I've actually seen a couple. They'll deal more because of the corrosion. Yeah, but I'm wondering like if you're building it just for Skyros, I don't think it's worth it. Because you can do more damage with flames. Uh, maybe not to the Skyros, but everything else. So, like, why would you want to... I think if you want to deal more damage to, like, say... You know what? Let's just start with this. I'm not getting enough gameplay of the, <laughs> the Behemoth. And I really should... Oh, man. Come on. I really shouldn't start with, like, the Behemoth first. I mean, it's not a beacon runner. So wait, why do we have four guys going to the same beacon? You guys gonna tell me because they don't have MK3, right? <laughs> oh, brother. No one went for the left either. I'm just trying to see if I can get over to this side. He's gonna do a lot of damage to me because he's got sonic weapons. He might actually even kill this behemoth too. Okay, look how much damage he did to me, by the way. That's why sonic weapons are so deadly. We didn't even get the left side. What is my team doing? Dude, left. Okay, there we go. This is why you don't... Oh my gosh, and now we gave up the beacon that we had four or five guys in. I'm gonna kill this. There's a guy behind me. I'm trying my best to hold this beacon down. I had no help. Through all of that, I had no help. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's try again. He's gonna drop in here with the Titan, maybe? Someone's gonna drop in here.
Going for the Mender first because he's going to heal the shell up. My last stand was triggered though. Well, why can't I move? That was weird. They're going to drop in with Titans over here now. Yep. I'm going to get destroyed because I don't have any help from my teammates. Yep. I try to get that beacon back. Look at so through all of that, right? So we have six players or whatever here. None of my teammates went to the open beacon. This one's thinking about going, but he's hesitating. And that right there is the reason why we will lose. Uh, it's very frustrating when you're playing with players that play this way. Like, you know, players say pay to win. Again, even if you had a max account, which I do, players will play this way. So you might as well play with like a low level account and not spend because it isn't worth it. By the way, not a skill issue either here on my end. I know how to play. So now they drop in with their titans. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to move this way. We're going to have to give that beacon up. It's too late now for my teammate. So now you see what happened? Because my teammates didn't drop their titans in, this guy's going to have to fight three titans at the same time. His uh, Minos is going to get totally destroyed. They don't fight back. They don't even know how to... Uh, you know, I don't like saying that players don't know how to play, but in all honesty, you guys are seeing it for yourself. It's more just the frustration, like when I play this game now. This is why I don't play it much, because I have teammates like this. Yeah, because I don't... I, we've all been there, that's why. Uh, we've all been there as far as learning goes, but like there's no battlefield awareness or anything players are under the impression that you pay to win and you win that way but my teammates they have the equipment they just don't drop it in so now i'm fighting with like this is not gonna work i mean i'm doing decent damage but it's not gonna work enough to uh, swing things yep. now i have to deal with another titan so through all of this, I've only seen one Minos on my team. So they all have Titans that they're going to drop in eventually, right? Yeah, so we have a Rook. I see one Rook on my team. What's that guy in? We've got a Rook, we've got a Heimdall. He's looking around to see who's going to help. No one can help, dude. <laughs> he should have dropped in earlier. They got more titans. Yep, and I'm out. Lower leagues, more skill. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. The, the, those kinds of games really, really annoy me and they frustrate me because like, I don't know what my teammates are doing. Like, if you have to defend a beacon, get into your titan and drop it in. Don't drop it in as your last bot. Because I tell you, if the other team has four or five titans, when you drop your titan in, your titan's going to be gone in seconds. Kind of like what happened to my to my luchador. The only other option that I could have done that I think about it, and then again, this is in hindsight, which you should not really judge, is to drop in at center beacon. But I mean, they're, they're in our spawn, right? 
Uh, do I think the Harpins will be killed after 9.4? Uh, they'll be less effective. I don't know to what extent, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't base things on what you see on the test server, though. I think it's very inaccurate, and also it could really cloud your judgment. Um, be mindful of it, and then make changes to your hangar after you see what the changes are on the live server. Yeah, I can't, I can't showcase gameplay like, so this is why I struggle sometimes to get, um, you know, footage of the game because the players play that way. So you could imagine me trying to record footage for like a video, right? And players play that way. I play 50 games and it's like that, like 45 games. That's why it takes me forever. It's very, very frustrating. And now we're going to probably steamroll these guys because it looks like they're giving us our, their beacon too, right? Yep. Is he going to get off the beacon? Yep, he got off the beacon. Oh, he's still on the beacon. He got off. Yeah, he got off the beacon. This guy's still here. I think I'm going to drop that behemoth in after this. So we'll sacrifice this. Because this game's going to be over soon. They're just giving us their beacons. It's just like the other games. sick of having to make changes you know what most of the changes you're gonna make is not as like i wouldn't do drastic changes um i don't think it's worth it not necessarily because they might not be effective uh like if you look at the way that the players are playing you don't need to make drastic changes like as much as you think i was actually mentioning in my discord that if someone had maxed out five ravanas from the ravana meta you would actually be doing just fine in the current meta even if you ran five with sonic weapons. Because most, like, if you learned how to play those bots, like the Ravana, you would be just fine. You just use cover and you can sneak up and get close to, like, Crisis Reaper. I'm just getting destroyed by, like, Titans. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that build's worth it. It can do a lot of damage, but I don't think in the current meta I would use it. I think I'm just going to push their left beacon. The game's over. I mean, they've given me enough. Uh... Even if I get destroyed here, I think it's going to be enough time to delay them from actually uh, winning the game. Although we should get into center. That was more just to kind of delay them from getting... It's not, it's not enough time for them. Can you see their beacon bar going down? So even if they have three beacons or even four beacons, they'll still lose. So I'm just getting my damage in. Yep. Uh, what happened to, our, to my clan, Clan Vox? We don't play anymore. Um, when I started to see how some of the top clans on Android and uh, Steam were cheating, like not just using subtle hacks, but they were using uh, resource exploits so basically if guys in our clan were spending say like five thousand dollars or whatever these guys were spending two thousand dollars so half the price to get the same equipment uh, but now i'm also seeing chats where not only were they doing that some of those uh like the creators that were in those their clans they were rigging the giveaways so that uh they got the prizes so it, that's why we don't play as a clan anymore. Criticized for having Sonic. Yeah, Wonderland, I was just saying if you had if you had maxed out five Ravanas with Havoc, for example, um, you would be just fine in the current uh, meta. 
um, but I don't recommend running doing that more because I know that in the event like let's just say you did do that you could always look back and say yeah it would have been fine but you don't know that right hindsight's a beautiful thing as they say uh, if you had diversified those Ravanas although I don't recommend running five Ravanas if you had done it and you know you had like sonic weapons you had maybe uh you had like hazard um blast shotguns you know what i mean like if you had done like maybe the uh is it the spike if you had done different builds you would be just fine am i going to be planning on streaming fortnite i was actually wanting to do that uh today but um, I ran a poll and most wanted more robots. How on earth did they even lose their home? Uh, they gave it to us. <laughs> Lancelot with harpoons. I uh, that can work. What you could do is, if you run that, you could transition to the Fenrir. Because the Fenrir is a stronger bot overall. But it's doing okay. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is, you don't know that, right? If you had, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, if you had maxed out... Um, what is it? 15? It's like a firing. Oh. If you had maxed out 15 um, Havoc, and then they were to nerf the Havoc, you would be thinking differently, right? But if they nerfed the Havoc and you had diversified, for example, you mac, uh, you had leveled up, I mean, not even maxed out, you had leveled up, say, the blast shotguns like Mace, Hazard, Spike, you would not You would be better off. This is why I'm saying it's good to, like, sort of diversify that way. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out why is red team yeah he's yeah you can shoot all you want there i'll just take your beacon here they haven't even gotten their home beacon and through all of that i had no help <laughs> thanks team yeah it's, it's always good to uh to diversify your not just your hang in terms of robots, but your weapons too. If you look at what I'm doing on the baby account, I do exactly that. You know, like even when I'm not... Whoa, this guy is not taking any damage whatsoever. I know it has a force shield thing or force field on there, but... guy really is not taking any damage jesus you have five different robots with five different weapons and eight of them are getting eight of them are getting nerfed yeah i know but what i'm saying is you don't you can't plan for it and just keep in mind too if it's your your weapons are getting nerfed everyone else's is as well so really it's it, you're at the same level i think sometimes when players uh so you know what's crazy about this guy that i'm that i keep hitting here his health is not going down and he doesn't even have um he doesn't even have an armadillo what the heck is that guy his uh bot's a bit suspicious there he had a he had a beak on i think was it a beak Take is useful. Um, dude, I don't know why it feels like my weapons aren't doing any damage whatsoever. I know this guy's healing up. 
but he's healing up an awful amount for that Mender. That is kind of crazy. I've got a ditch. We, we need help here on this beacon. My team may want to drop in with their titans, I'm just saying. I can't drop down. I don't think I've seen a single Titan on my team. Well, there was one earlier. I couldn't I couldn't hold I mean I held it down but we didn't have any titans never ends well for randoms well I mean we didn't even I went to center but there was no one we didn't have like a squad we were going up against two of them I don't know if it was this guy that I was going up against. He doesn't even have an MK3 uh, nether. But one of them, when I was hitting him, he wasn't even taking like damage. There was another guy that had a mender that kind of seemed almost suspicious too. I think it was this guy that was healing like crazy. And he's on PC. Uh, you can't rush here. Yeah, you don't want to rush upgrades because if you rush, basically what you're doing is you're paying for time. Um, because you're paying, you're rushing, you're paying for time, uh, it's going to be more expensive. Um, think of it this way, like if Apple or Samsung came out with a new phone, right? And you want it straight away, well, you're going to be paying a premium. But if you had to wait for like a year and then they come out with a new uh, phone, the price of the phone that you wanted, uh, that might have been like, say, $1,500 or whatever, it will come down in price because you were patient enough to wait uh, for the next phone to come out so that the prices drop. It's the same way. It pretty much is the same way. Hi, Phoenix. Uh, am I going to be continuing uh, Blade? I don't know yet. Um, I've already... You know what? I think I think we'll just do a QA and a now. Because I'm, I only stream for like an hour. The game's like just too frustrating for me when I play it's like so one-sided and it's one-sided not because of necessarily of the equipment levels like players keep alluding to that it's just like look at the games that i played four guys going to the same beacon or like players don't even go for their home beacon in the case of the one game where we were on roam map like i don't understand how they could not go for their home beacon when they spawn literally 50 meters away armored core uh andy i I don't actually enjoy the gameplay much of Armored Core because I find there's a lot of visual clutter kind of like with War Robots. Um, most of the bots you just see dashing back and forth and also the like when you play um, like the weapons. I mean if you want I can show you right now if you guys want. I can load it up. I can load Armored Core up 
and then I can uh, load up Fortnite and I can do a comparison. I know I don't shouldn't really do it in this live stream, but if you want, I mean, this is a Q&A thing, so it's okay. This is why squads always beat rent. Yeah, because they, they have this understanding that A, you go for home beacons. B, you protect it. You know, if you're going to lose it or whatever, you know, you need to know how to defend it. They and they have that understanding. Randoms don't have that understanding. Well, they might have it, but they just don't do it. That's why they get steamrolled. Yeah, you're fine, like with Armored Core and like nothing against those that enjoy it. I mean that, you know, all the power to them. I just don't enjoy it. Okay, so... You know how the visual clutter... Okay, I'll do that right now. We'll load up Armored Core. I'll load it up right now. And you'll see what I mean. I have to load up my Steam here. Hold on a second. And I'll load up... I'll load up Fortnite. And you'll see what I mean by the difference. I know it's completely different games. But it also kind of highlights why I prefer like Fortnite over many of the other games that I've played. Uh, if you have your hangar from four years ago, you'd probably have to go through a lot of it. Um, it depends on like what kind of robots you have. Mech Arena, uh, I wouldn't say Mech Arena is better. I know there's been, because um, I saw a post, it's kind of funny because I don't even follow Mech Arena, but apparently they're adding something in there that many are predicting they're taking the same route as War Robots. Um, I don't like the look of Mech Arena either. Uh, it's fast paced, but yeah, I'm going to point out a couple of things here. And I will play, um, I'll play Fortnite so that you can kind of understand where I'm coming from because you have to, you have to see it from like my perspective. I'm like, you have to play the game to understand where I'm coming from. Uh, hold on. Oh shoot. How am I going to do this? Uh... I think it should load up now. Yeah, okay, hold on a second. I have to turn this that music off. Uh Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just do a new game. I'm going to oof, I'm just gonna use my name of my other. We'll just start from from scratch because I want you guys to kind of see what I mean, like from my perspective, you know, as a player, why I'd like, I get why some might like Armored Core, but it's not for me. We're close to Rubicon. Let me just skip this uh, tab. Main system. Activating so, first of all, a lot of players compare Armored Core to War Robot saying the graphics is better. Well, it should be better because you're comparing a PC game to a mobile game. PC game in general will always have better graphics because you have the hardware to support it. Um, if you were to play Armored Core on your phone with this kind of graphics, you will burn through your phone like it's nothing. So, you know, just keep that in mind too. Each game there's pay to win players. Yeah, there will be. It's just that players don't, they don't see it. You will have some that, you know, pay in the game and then you'll have some that pay like... I'm just trying to get through all of this here quickly. I should have actually just continued, but... Oops. I forgot where my keys are again. I think I had... Uh, what's my other key now? Okay, so if I were to like dash like this way, things are happening really fast, right? But it gets even crazier when I... When I start playing um, like actual players or bots where there's more stuff. So you can see, I wish I could show my cursor. There's a lot of stuff, there's stuff happening on the left side and the right side. 
but visually when i start getting into the intense uh intense battles on the screen there's going to be a lot of effects a lot of flashing going on and i'm not really going to see what i'm shooting so do you see what i mean it it has some of the the same characteristics that war robots has in that aspect that was some of the things that i didn't actually quite like about war robots So yeah, it looks cool, but there's a lot of stuff happening. The screen for Ahmed Core is really messy. Um, I'm sure they have reasons for doing the way that they have it. I mean, even your reticle you know where the cross a is there's a lot going on around it i just find it's too much for me um but there's other things too which i'll point out oh. what is my repair thing again this one okay there we go So this is what you'll find when you when you search up Armored Core, um, whether it be my channel, Manny's channel, or like you know any of the Armored Core that I really focus on the game. Watch them play uh, like live stream, like when they play live stream. There's you'll find a lot of times it's all about dashing and using your abilities and knowing like you know having an understanding of the weapons, right? But there's a lot of dashing back and forth. It's like playing the Nether. It's like the same style of like play. War Robots actually has more variety in terms of the abilities. Because you'll see like a lot of dashing back and forth. Because you need that to evade like. Oh, the other thing too. Oops. I'm trying to use my app. There's a lot of dashing back and forward and you need to know how to use like your energy and stuff. So it's more about timing of your abilities, dashing back and forward so that you can avoid getting hit. Um, that's the style of play, but also when when I aim at uh, players, do you notice how like my targeting system? As long as I'm aiming in their direction and I fire, usually my missiles or whatever, or like whether I'm running like a cannon or grenade launch or whatever it is, it will fire in that direction. Like I'm not actually aiming. I mean, I'm aiming at them, but it's the auto aim that's doing most of it. We went from. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm forgetting my uh, my buttons here because I haven't played Armand Court since like last week. So, so I'm not really aiming at these robots here. I mean, I am, but it's just in the vicinity because it locks on for me. It's just, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of chaos. I mean, chaos is kind of good, but I don't know if I can play this kind of style of game for very long. 
but others there's many others players that will be able to play it because they're into this kind of style of play this is the same mission i know it's the same mission i know it's the same mission i didn't go to the other ones because i wanted um clearer gameplay so that you could see from that perspective Oops. So I'm not actually aiming at those targets. I mean, I am. As long as my crosshair is within that region, it automatically fires at those targets. So that's what I'm talking about with this uh, with this game. I prefer... So wait, hold on. I'm going to go back to... Wait, how do I escape here? Escape. I'm trying to get out of the uh, armored core thing. Okay, wait. I'm just going to quit that. Because I just wanted to kind of show you, like, the gameplay. What I don't like about it. Again, nothing against those players that, that play the game. It's just, I can't see myself playing it for long hours. Um, hold on a second. Let me just close this. And there's gonna, I know there's going to be a lot that disagree with me and will hate me on that. And that's fine. Everyone has opinion. Yeah, lots of visual effects that block the, the players. And I want to just, you know, sometimes you just want to shoot. You want to shoot at a robot or whatever. You want to see the effects, but not overwhelming to the point where you don't know why you're shooting. So when you think about it, what they're doing is kind of like, War robots on steroids kind of thing. A lot of similar similar effects happening. Uh, there's a lot of dashing and stuff too. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to load up something now because I want you guys to see from what I mean, the difference in gameplay. And while I know it's not a mech game... Hold on. I know this is not a mech game and I get it, but I'm going to go into like when I play. Um, I don't think there's anyone on here that I can invite. We'll just we'll just run um, a game here quickly. I haven't even warmed up, but maybe maybe I should just run. Maybe I should just run. Hold on. We'll just do a practice uh, thing. That's probably better. So, yes, I get that this is not a mech game, and I get it. But I want you to see the difference between the aiming, the movement, um, and also the visuals when you're in a fight, okay? Because that is sort of important. And that that is what adds to, like, the experience when I do play. Like, not just, like, not just War Robots, not just Armored Core or, like, PUBG. It's a different, it's a different kind of uh, feeling, but you need to play it to understand. Fortnite got banned on iOS. It actually got banned on Google too, um, because of what they were doing. So basically, so with Epic, uh, <laughs> well, with Fortnite specifically, the currency in the game is called V-Bucks. I believe they said that if you were to download the game through their site, I think they probably were offering uh, discounts to V-Bucks. So you were bypassing. You didn't have to go through Apple or Google. And that was against their terms of service. Like the agreement or whatever that they had. That's the reason why they got into a legal battle. Because they were doing something that they weren't supposed to do. So I don't blame uh, Apple or Google for suing. Because really, Epic 
They should have known better. Because of the toxic... Yeah, just turn your uh, thing off. Like, so what I do is... Oh, wait, hold on a second. This game is just loading up. Uh, this is just my practice. I usually do this before I stop playing. Um, so... What I usually do with my sound... I, I do friends only. So the only ones that I can hear are if they're my friends. But yeah, you will have that toxic. It's the same thing with any other game, really, if you think about it. So now I want you to see the difference in when I get into a fight. Not only the speed, the movement, but the visuals that you see on the screen. It's not like over cluttered. And I, I get that this is not a robot game. Like, I get that. Let me just uh, pick a weapon here. Jesus Christ, dude. I haven't even picked my weapons yet. You're already spamming your stuff. Even the explosions here, you see the explosions, but it's not overwhelming. You get what I'm saying? You can see what's happening. It's fast paced. It's also fast paced. By the way, this game is 100% free, just FYI. You see what I mean? Like when I'm hitting a player. Is there a way to play Fortnite on Apple? Um, you have to go to the Epic site. So first of all, I'm not, there's no in-game, well there is in-game purchases, but it's like you buying skins. So you see your inventory, this is a difference between this and PUBG too. So you see your inventory, you know with PUBG when I live streamed it, you have to know which weapons you're, so when you get a weapon, it has certain kind of ammo, right? But it's very specific ammo, it's like, nine millimeter i don't know what it, or it's like shotgun shells so this is my shotgun so you see this if you have it doesn't matter what shotgun you have they all use shotgun shells it doesn't matter what like smg or like pistol ammo ammo they all use the small bullets or like if you have a sniper they all use the sniper bullets it is all simplified and it's just easier so that you can just focus on the actual gameplay there's speed involved, but there's aiming. But do you see what I mean about the aiming? Like, I'm actually aiming at players. I'm not letting the game control it for me, which requires a lot of skill. Also, your movement. So, you know, like in Armored Core or like PUBG, or even if you're playing Call of Duty, most of the times it's like strafing left or right. Um, and then obviously jumping, right? When you're trying to avoid getting hit and stuff. You want to know the difference between this and, and Fortnite and that? So first of all, because it's third person view, if there's someone on the right side here of this wall, you want to always make sure that you attack on your right because of your character. If I'm attacking on the right side, my character is blocked by the cover and my weapon fires around the corner. So you have to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, your movement, not only are you running, right? You can slide, you can jump. But also, you're going to notice like when I hit, quite often I, I do that. So you see how I bob up and down? It's so that they can't hit my head as easily because headshots count for more than body shots. So you have a whole lot of other things that you have to kind of keep in mind. And the loot pool, you might get used to like the weapons I'm using now. But a few weeks from now or like the next season, it will change completely. So you can't get comfortable. You have to learn how to adapt. And that's what makes... For me like fortnite exciting and also the map changes too 
Um, I don't play... So I don't play builds. Most are under the impression that, you know, the reason why it sucks is because it's building, there's a lot of visual clutter. I actually don't play zero build for that reason. Uh, you need to be able, a little bit at, uh, you need to be a little, oh, you mean like far in advance, like in front of the player? Yeah, some of the shots, so like, um, some of the weapons, <laughs> it's kind of funny because someone was telling me, who was it? it was Exile. He was saying, or someone was saying, they don't like Fortnite because you have Bloom, right? Some weapons, when you fire, like when you aim at someone it doesn't hit them because it sprays all over the place but if you think about it realistically that is actually more realistic because if you had to compare using like say a pistol with a suppressor versus an AK-47 or whatever and you're firing they're going to react differently and the same goes with the sniper you're going to have different sniper rounds uh, some of the snipers in this game you have to account for bullet drop because with distance, your bullet is going to drop lower. So you have to aim above the guy's head if you want to get a head snipe. Uh, you think you need to buy a computer first for this? Uh, actually, you can play this on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, um, iOS, Android, uh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, you want to you wanna start with zero builds. I... So this is the thing with like Fortnite, a lot are under the impression that, you know, you build, you see which mode I'm playing here, zero build. Actually, before I do this, you can, you can even see how many players are playing zero build versus build. So there's 470,000 right now playing uh, builds and 200,000 playing zero build, which is actually a lot. Like this, this mode only came out like a year ago. And already it's reaching crazy. Like a lot of players are coming back to the game and they're enjoying it simply because they're playing zero build. Two footsteps, don't they, Adrian? Uh, Ahmed, we'll see. We'll see. Because that's your that's your understanding of Fortnite. But I'll play a game now and let me know how many builds you see happen. We'll play a game now, uh, or two, depending on how quickly I die. <laughs> uh, but we'll see We'll see if it's the same as what you remember and you recall it to be. Because it's not. Trust me, this game is very different. There is no building. But I want him to see and experience it, because you need to experience it to understand from my perspective. It's the same way as me playing Armored Core. You know, it was hyped up, and... For a good reason, there's a there's a good there's a big following for it. Um, I just don't like. I would play it maybe in like my free time, um, but it's not something that I think I could get into the game, um, as some of the other creators or other players that are into Armored Core. Uh, th what do you mean? That's how it used to be. No building. Your dream came true, dude. This has been going on for like a year already. Why are we taking so long with, to find a match? I know I lost a lot of games, but man. <laughs> uh, so I turned my voice comms off so that, you know, if they are toxic, then at least I don't hear them. They're, I mean, there's a good and bad to that because you can't communicate with your teammates. But whatever. And I will be streaming this on probably on Sunday. Uh, there is another game though that I do want to try out. Um, it's actually a mech game. It's in early development. Uh, that one will be for um, for iOS, Android, and also PC. But I think I might do a video on that because I want to make sure with the developers that I'm not like saying stuff that I probably shouldn't. Like, because they are like developing it. And yeah, just to kind of make sure. You used to play building before. Yeah, I didn't even bother with build. I mean,. So when I first started Fortnite, there was building. I actually didn't know that zero build existed. <laughs> so I didn't know about it until... Jesus, these guys want to drop. Okay, this is going to get wild. I guess I'm just going to drop now. <laughs> uh, this, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of um, stuff happening. I might die straight off the bat here. Because usually at the start, that's where all the impatient ones drop. Which means your chances of surviving is 50-50 most times. Uh, but yeah, I I 
am going to be testing another mech game uh, which i want to kind of bring to my channel as well because i know that a lot of players are into mech and like mobiles so uh, that may be coming oh my gosh i think i'm gonna freaking die here it's just so Come on, get me out of here. Quick, 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 quick. Or I'm dead. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get lasered. No. That was not fun. Sorry, I had to concentrate there. When things get kind of crazy like that, and I need to get the heck out of there. Yeah. Ugh. I need to find some heals. Oh shoot. Wait, what did I do? I cancelled it by accident. My teammates might leave. So the thing with this game is quite often when teammates die, when they die, they just leave the game for whatever reason. Uh... Yeah, let me know how many how much building you see though. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Trying to figure out where that player is. Like I said, let me know how much building you see. You don't see as much building as you think. Where is this guy's card? Oh shoot, I think I just went right through the building. Nope, I got knocked. Ah! No! Toxic kids. Oh, we died. <laughs> Where's the mender to heal? There is no mender to heal. You have different heals. Uh, but that is how fast paced the game is. Like it's very fast paced. Uh, there is no building. You saw no building. The only thing I was, well, we saw buildings, but I was breaking it. <laughs> so it's, it's different. It's not, I get that it's not a mech game. Um, you can play it on mobile. Um, there are some that I squad with that play on mobile. But, yeah, we didn't. Uh, let me just see if I can find. I don't think there's anyone that I can really squad with uh, right now. Uh, but, so, this player here used to be in Vox. He used to play, he used to play Fortnite uh, before. And then he stopped, he played War Robots. And then he came back when he started seeing that I was into uh, Fortnite. You can't build like you used to. Yeah, there's no building. There's, uh, there's no building whatsoever. I can even go into like... Uh, we can look at the replays here. Because I'm sure I have like... I mean, these were all the games that we played. Maybe I'll pick this one here. Because there's quite a lot of kills. So there's probably more action. You need to... Uh, you'll have to look it up. Because I don't have this on my iPad or whatever. Uh, hold on. So this was a game like last night that we uh, that we played. <laughs> I just realized look how many players are in this in this area. This is a replay, but it's showing all the players. So notice how there's like 
There's no building. So you have you have different mobility and what you saw me use was actually a shockwave to get out of like travel really quickly. So you have different like weapons. What I'm doing right now is I'm drinking shield. So it's really important that you have like full health and shield. Shield pr helps protect against um, not just enemy fire, but also like especially shot shotguns. Yeah, I usually stream like six to seven. I'm not even joking, guys. I stream. This is on average six to seven hours Fortnite like a day. So that used to be the time that I used to put into war robots. Water? Uh, no, you don't get killed by water. You can swim in water if that counts. Yeah, so this season we have a we have an interesting um we have an interesting I'm just gonna do this so you can see. So this is uh <laughs> this is like a suit what is it called? Uh I don't know, it's like a turret, business turret, I think it's called, or something like that. So you can throw it down, it turns into a turret. It's kinda like a Mars turret, if you think about it. Um, and you can carry that with you. So you see what I'm doing right now, I carry that with me. But like I said, there's no, there's no, okay, I may have jumped into the trash by accident. <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no building. The only building that you will get in the game is, um, bunkers and maybe, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can build with bunkers, but you have to find those items and you will just throw a, throw a bunker down and it creates a bunker, uh, which can be broken up as well. Um, but that's really the only, like, I guess, build item in zero build. Yeah, that's the new turret. And we will only have that in the game for... I don't know if it's going to be for this season, for the next three months. It might be less, actually. I don't know. Yeah, so I am searching stuff. Like, I know some say this is kind of boring. And initially, it you will be searching for items because you've just dropped. But the game is a lot more fast-paced. Um, the other thing... <laughs> We're hearing the storm. Actually, wait. Can I... Okay, so this, can I zoom out? So this pink area here is basically the storm and it's going to shrink down to the white circle. If you are caught in the storm, you take damage. And as the game progresses, the white circle becomes smaller and smaller. And if you are caught in this like pink area, like the storm, you take on more and more damage. Um, what Fortnite has changed recently is that when the white circle you know, all the players are within the white circle. As it gets smaller and smaller, the game can kind of figure out where all the players are. So, for example, let's just say this is the white circle here. There might be one team sitting over here and like five teams fighting over here. The game will actually figure that out. And what it will do then is the next storm circle will be like over here. So this team that was hoping to camp it out on this side of the map will be forced to move in to engage the other teams. So they do that so that it's more action-packed, I guess. It's, like, faster-paced. And they force the game... Like, it actually kind of shortens the game in a way. Yeah, when you get to, like, end-game, like, things get very, very crazy. Usually... There's a lot of, like, madness at the start. I'm trying to figure out what happened in this game. There's a lot of action that happens at the start and the end of the game, but sometimes even, like, mid-game. So, for example, here. So, you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot at this player. Again, there's no auto-aim or anything, right? You literally have to have good aim to hit these players. So I, I, yeah, I killed that guy that was in the air. Like, I shot him out of the sky. Like, you can't, like, you you either have good aim or you don't. Like, if your aim sucks and you, you just need to practice at it. There's no auto aim. This is the difference. But do you see what I mean? Like, by visual clutter, I can see what I'm shooting. There's no, like, crazy effects going off. They might be for some weapons, but... For 
the weapons I'm using right now, there's most of the weapons that, that I use are kind of like that. Just trying to see like what is it like showing here. We'll go back to like war robots, but I just wanted you to see. Whoops. Oh man. I pressed the wrong control. Oh, I think this was in. Oh, this was a weird game. Yeah. We happened to kill another guy that was around the corner. That was a game. That was really weird. I think that was the last one. Yeah, that was the last one. But as far as like what you. So first of all, the game is a hundred. This is why I wanted to bring this to my channel because I think at least players won't be spending like crazy amounts of hours or uh, money rather to get like to actually have fun. So the game is a hundred percent free. You don't have to get the skins or whatever. You could use a default. I mean, this actually literally an option to use a default. Okay, so I could use a default, which um. It could be a random skin, either male or female, but it's default. So you don't have to actually play or uh, pay rather to get a skin. The currency is V-Bucks, which you can get through here. But I'm hoping to do like V-Bucks giveaways and stuff in the future. So, you know, if I end up bringing this to like this main channel, then I'll do like a V-Bucks giveaway. Um, the other benefit too for me as a creator, which helps to support this channel is I do have a creator code now, right? So when players play and they make purchases in the game, then I will get like a small percentage out of that, right? So that helps the channel, like, helps the channel out. Um, but that's really the only thing, like V-Bucks. And you would use that to buy like, um, like items in the store. What you're basically buying is like different skins. And you will have like wraps and stuff for like weapons and whatnot. So like, um, let's see which one. I think I got this one. This was the latest one I got. So you will, you can buy like your glider, your pickaxe or whatever. So you, you can do that. And then you have battle passes, which, how much is the battle pass? Give the battle pass. Let me just see. Does it show? I don't know how much the battle pass is. I can't remember how much the battle pass is, but basically when you buy the battle pass, you have like every game you, you earn like battle stars and then you just claim all these prizes. I don't know. Uh, does anyone know how much the battle pass? I can't remember how much it costs because I have the Fortnite crew thing. So it automatically, uh, like I get it. So it's around ten dollars. Okay, so around ten dollars. So with ten dollars, look at this. Okay, now this is obviously provided you you play a lot as well. But I mean, it doesn't really take much to be honest. So let's just say ten dollars, right? So you play, you get uh, this is what you get. So you get like a pickaxe, you get like an emote. This is just for the first page, by the way. We have fourteen different pages here. This is. Everything that you see here, you get for 10 bucks. And there's actually more. This is not everything because there's actually more on top of this. And these skins also, usually in the battle pass, they don't come into the store, so you can't purchase it again. This is how they kind of get you to. Because they know that if players see, like, for example, they see... Let's just say, for example, you really like this skin you will have to get the battle pass because you know that if you don't get the battle pass when this season is over you will never be able to get the skin again <laughs> so this is how they this is how they they catch you yeah so 950 v bucks uh so let's just say 10 bucks okay like you get 14 pages of all these items here but it doesn't even end there because you have bonus rewards so once you get all that stuff if you keep on playing then you get even you get a bonus page here. Some of the stuff hasn't even been uh, shown yet because it's still going to be unlocked. Um, but you get you get all of those. And then you, on top of that, you also get quest rewards, which is even more on top of what I just showed. For 10 bucks. So really, you could spend 10 bucks 
and that would be it if you wanted to actually spin and then the rest of the time would be spent just like getting good at the game or whatever you could also compete in like tournaments and stuff and win cash uh, but i heard there's a lot of cheating involved with that uh oh yeah plus you get v bucks too you get some v bucks back which you could use uh for the next season right it will carry over you have the fortnite yeah i have the fortnite crew but i'm just saying like if it's 10 bucks even if it was 20 bucks it's still worth it compared to like war robots So you get what I'm saying? Like, this is why I rather prefer to, like, cover a game. And, you know, like, when I do a game, if I'm going to, like, cover it um, and really, like, do content on it, i rather do it on something that I enjoy. Um, the fact that I've been playing this game for, like, over a year now, um, live streaming at six to seven hours a day on my other channel... Uh, which isn't monetized, by the way, so you can't say that I'm doing it for money or anything. The fact that I'm doing it, that I've done it that long for free entertainment, obviously it must be good, no? You get what I'm saying? So this is why I don't mind doing content on this game. But... I think players, before they judge it, I think they need to experience it first before judging. The same way as how I experienced like Armored Core or like PUBG. But like I said, you know, this game has set the bar so high for me now. Like even if I were to play Call of Duty or like Overwatch 2, which I did, um, I don't see those games the same way anymore. Like I used to play Quake and Quake 3 a long time ago and I enjoyed it a lot before obviously the cheaters and stuff. Um, and then, you know, after that came more robots, um, this, you know, at first I struggled with Fortnite. I didn't think that I would enjoy it. Um, initially I didn't want to play it because of the building, but then I found out my friends were playing and I was like, well, it can't be that bad if they're playing because, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, they're not really like big, big gamers, like they're more casual. So I was like, well, it can't be that bad. Maybe I'll try it. And then I tried it and my friend told me, uh, why are you playing like bu uh, builds? You know, there's zero builds. I was like, what's zero builds? Well, you don't have to build. I was like, oh, well, then I got into Fortnite that way and then I've just been hooked ever since. Isn't available for all zones. I'm not sure what you mean by all zones. Faceway was a cheater. <laughs> Look at him now. Yeah, I know all the cheaters are getting glorified. It's actually kind of sad. Uh, and like all the Call of Duty. You know what? I, when I started looking at Call of Duty, all I saw were like cheats. <laughs> like cheaters. I'm like, man, why do I want to play a game that's full of like cheats? Oh, it's not in all countries. Oh, I didn't even know that. Which is surprising because... It is such a big game. So, uh, PAX, which, which uh, part of the world are you in then? Like, if it's not available for you, I'm actually really surprised. I didn't know that. Because most countries do, like, you can play. It, I'm just really, really just surprised, you know, that... Because um, I had the same view of Fortnite, don't get me wrong, but I gave it a chance anyways. And I'm glad I did. Uh, oh, no. Don't, PAX, you can't find it on the Apple Store or Google Play. Uh, because there was actually an incident where... So you see like these V-Bucks that you see in the game here. What... Uh, <laughs> this is actually bad of Epic to do this. What they actually did... Initially, this game was on the, uh, on the App Store and the Google Play Store. But what they were doing, they were advertising that if you downloaded the game through their site, you could get like cheaper V-Bucks. Which means a lot of the players or the new players weren't going through the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. They were going through the Epic Games Store or the Epic Games site because it was cheaper. So they were violating the terms of like Apple and Google Play. That's basically what was happening. That's why you don't see it anymore. 
but there is rumors that they are going to be coming back to Apple and Google. Um, I don't know when, but there are rumors that it's going to be happening. Some were thinking this year, but I'm not sure. Why are the V-Bucks so expensive? 13,000. I don't know, but I've bought a lot. That's actually an understatement. <laughs> but yeah, I've kind of bought a lot. I have a lot of skins. Like I play the skins, I'll be like, and then I'm bored with it and I get another one. But that's how they, that's how they hook you though. Yeah, you don't you don't need to buy them, Ahmed. You don't need to buy them, is what I'm saying. Like I could run a like it's more cosmetic. That's what you're paying for, just to look different. Yeah, if you buy the battle pass, it's easy to make the V Bucks. Well, would you rather prefer this kind of monetization or would you rather prefer to buy overpowered equipment and get it nerfed? Which would you choose? Is all I'm saying. Oh, there's a Fortnite? Oh, there is? Hmm. There is a Fortnite in your app, or maybe they are bringing it, but it's different for the regions. Maybe they haven't gotten to the point where it's global yet. The crew pack is a bargain if you spend. Yeah, I actually have the crew pack. Um... I think it actually shows... No, where does it show that I have the crew pack? Item shop? Yeah, I think it's the item shop. Yeah, subscription. I have mine... I have it active. Yeah, so I get these skins. I also get a thousand V-Bucks from that too. But I find like these skins aren't really that... Some of them are okay. But most of them I'm not really a fan of. But I get it just in case there's a good, good one. is not available for me in the app store. Well, what I'm saying is Wonderland, maybe in his region, maybe uh, Apple has, you know, ha maybe they have a deal with Epic now in that area. So they're allowing it. And as time goes on, more countries will have it to the point where eventually it will be global. Uh, it could be that case too. Um. Yeah, so Jamel, I think with War Robots, it's not just War Robots, it's any mobile game. I think what you're also paying for, other than like entertainment, is more the convenience. You know, being able to play it on the go. You're really paying for convenience too. Why the War Robots thumbnail? Oh, I was playing uh, War Robots. I was just switching. This was kind of the Q&A thing. Yeah, I should probably switch back. Hold on. Let me just close this. And I'll do I'll do like a Fortnite live stream probably on Sunday. Um but I would one of the things that I was actually hoping to do was to actually do like a beginner uh video, which I don't know if you guys want. I can do that, kind of introducing you to the game. Hold on, I'm just loading up all robots right now. It's, yeah, I gotta change the sound settings. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go with the ads and stuff. Hold on. Oops. There we go. Oh, Quan, did you um did you try? Did you try Fortnite yet? Because I know you downloaded it. There's no build because I've added people think you have to build. Well that's why I will get into it, but you've got to give me a chance to explain first. <laughs> It's hard it's hard to do that like if I'm not given that chance, you know, like
on your other channel well i was thinking of getting more in depth into it like because so the reason why i didn't want to do videos on fortnite initially is because i felt like i needed to play the game first to understand it before i do videos um because i don't want to be in a situation where like it's the blind leading the blind kind of thing you know what i mean um so that's kind of the reason why i felt like i had to play fortnite maybe for at least six months um to get a feel for it before i start doing um not necessarily like beginner guides but more like explaining although i can get into like beginner stuff What do I think about Manny leaving War Robots? I think he wanted to leave for a long time. Uh, he has very good reasons why, too. Um, but again, nothing against him or any, anyone. I mean, we all have different opinions. Like, even myself, I'm kind of moving away. And I have said, like, basically to Pixonic that you know, I'm going to be reducing the amount of War Robots content. I actually requested that they do not feature me on in the end games at all. So, you know, like when you go to the news, so if you're wondering why, like, none of my videos are popping up here, it's because I've actually requested that they don't show any of my videos. Um, the other thing, too, is I'm not doing any giveaways, and I told them that I, like, for the time being, no giveaways until the game uh, improves i will also not be covering frontiers or any future games uh, coming from the company um, because i need to see like some sort of improvement otherwise i know for a fact all the other games are going to get treated the same way so you know you've got to decide if you want to continue on that path then i'm not interested so that's why Yeah, I, I I mean, you can talk about currencies and economy and, like, balance and stuff. Um, just the amount of, like, cheaters and stuff and just not doing anything about it shows just the neglect. But it's not even like that. I mean, first of all, when you log into the game, aside from all the pop-up windows coming up, sometimes we have offers and then you're looking at the images and you're like, that isn't even, that doesn't even make sense. Like, they would have, like, for example, uh, like, this is just an example, like, an invader with, like, three heavy weapons, and you're like, but I can't even put the weapons on the invader. You know, at some point, you start thinking, do these guys even play or even look at their game? Like, what are they even, like, doing? And then, like, sometimes, like, when I'm live streaming, it says, like, uh, what is it? Hangar error, whatever, it doesn't even load up. When you have this many problems in your in your game... What am I exactly showing? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if I'm supposed to show, like, showcase their game and their game is, like, not working, what am I showing exactly? And then everyone is cheating. So, basically, I'm showing people that it's okay to cheat. Like, I don't get where they're going with that. So, I had a very long, like, I... For the ones who are in the Pixonic chat, you will know, because I mentioned this uh, yesterday. You know, I said that if they want to clean things up, and they probably want to do it ASAP, go into the Legends League, look at the top 100 players, and look to, like, actually investigate any kind of suspicious behavior. Because if there's a guy that's a hacker or whatever, and he's in, like, Legend League number one, and it looks suspicious, friggin' ban his account. I don't care. You know, it's better that they do it so that they uh, keep the integrity of the game and, you know, players will respect them more because moving forward, it's going to have an effect on all their future games, not just this one. Um, but not only just kick that or, like, ban that player, if they're part of a clan, go into all those clans and search and clean up the mess. Like, go through every single player of that clan and do that for, the like, the first 100. And then after they've done that, you know go through all the Champion League clans. And, like, they can stop at the Champion League clans. If it still progresses to be worth, worse, go into Master League and keep going and clean up clean up everything. Like, they got to do that because if 
if they don't even do that, it shows that they don't even care about their own game. So that's pretty much what I what I said. Because if players are leaving and creators, like their top creators are leaving and they're ignoring and they think that there's nothing wrong, you know, obviously there's something terribly wrong. And could you, like, if I were to leave, like, War Robots, which, you know, in this, at this point, it's kind of moving in that direction. You know how embarrassing it is, you're Pixonic, and you have two of your creators, which have pilots, and both of them, both of the creators leave. You know how embarrassing that is for them as a company? So, they really do need to think about that, because... Like, it's not just War Robots we're talking about. It's, like, all the games that they release. They're actually fixing the problem very slow. Well, slow is not good enough. It, you know, I always say that if you can't fix a problem um, initially, that's fine. But if you, you're you going to take that route, you got to put some temporary measures in place. So that means, like, maybe every week... Or every two weeks, they go through like the top legend league or whatever, and they start banning based on uh, suspicious activity. If you're not willing to do that, you know, while you're developing the anti cheat or whatever that they say they are doing, uh, that's really bad. Uh, that's like really, really bad. You don't want to go in that direction. So, and that's the direction that they took. So, uh, the problem, then they fix it. Yeah, I know some will say, but then they're worried about them losing money. Well, you're going to be losing money anyways, and it's going to be at a lot faster rate when everyone leaves. So you have a choice. <laughs> fix it. It might be harsh at first, and yeah, you will lose probably quite a bit of money initially, but at least you will be protecting, you know, your company and the integrity of the game. Because if that's the one that, that makes you money, like, you can't expect to make more money if you're just letting things slip like that. Um, but if I did see, like, an improvement, like, whether they're actually starting to maybe take that kind of action, then, yeah, I will continue with War Robots. But, you know, at that point, then we need to start talking about, like, the how the monetization is working, too. You need to have pillars to have a good fun. Well, the thing is, I think also they've been switching a lot of owners, probably because of like, maybe the game is struggling and it's not doing as well. So they keep switching. And I think all those switches you have like organization, like restructuring. Uh, usually when one company takes over another or whatever, you know how it is, you know, there's going to be a bunch of layoffs and then things are going to be run differently. And I think if that happens enough, then you kind of lose track of like what the core of the business was, or at least what, uh, what the game is about. So, yeah. The developer greed. I mean, greed is part of it, but the thing is you can be, you can be greedy, but actually, you know, care about like what you put out. You know, there's there's different ways to go about it. It's just the way that is they're doing it right now is just really wrong. Um, but if the game goes downhill, it's kind of really on them. Watching just for the war robots, not others. Uh, Ali, yes, I know I will lose a lot of views and subscribers, but um. For me, you know, at this point, knowing that, like, so let's just say, for example, like, you know, my subscribers are going down, my views are going down, me doing other content at this point, like, I know I will lose more subscribers and views, uh, but at least my mindset will be in the right place, you know, when I play, like, say, Fortnite or whatever, at least I'll be enjoying it, and I won't have to worry about I mean, I, I guess I will have to worry about the toxic comments for a, a little while, but after a while, it'll be over, and then I can just focus on 
building up my Fortnite instead or whatever game I decide. Yeah, nothing, as I say, nothing lasts forever. And usually when one journey ends, a new one begins. And maybe this is where we stand right now. That's just how it is. It's kind of funny though, because so players want me, <laughs> they want me to put out a video going over all this stuff and I'm like thinking but like I'm just going to be repeating what everyone else is saying like is it because you want to be in agreement or you want me to put out content on that like I don't under understand um so there was someone who was judging me uh from my one video he went on and on and I said you do realize that I put out two videos the one video where I specifically said I'm going to be scaling back war robots so they're asking me to put out a video when I really I actually did put out a video and I even told them that my schedule's like changing. Uh, what I didn't tell them was also afterwards I mentioned that, you know, I requested that I don't be shown in the in-game news and I won't be doing any giveaways. Well, they told me afterwards, well, you didn't tell me this. Maybe you should have put out a video. But I, I told them, well, why would I want to put out a video on that? Like, is it just so that I can tell everyone like the actions I'm taking? Like... You know, I tend to do these things on the down low. Um, I don't, I'm not really one that, like, if there's, like, a problem in the game, like, put out, like, 10 videos or whatever on it. Like, I get that. Like, it's just, I don't want my, my channel to become just about me complaining about everything. You know what I mean? Like, if it's, like, War Robots and that's the content, then I want to focus on that. Or whatever game I decide. And try to discuss the problems the game faces. Nobody cares. They're too busy flexing their money and their hangar. Yeah, I, th I think that's just... That's just like the players. You know, they always want to flex. Um, listen... Listen to what I don't get it. <laughs> listen to me, freaks. We can't listen to you. I'm reading what you say, but it you just have I think so, and that's it. Does War Robots have any merch? No. I think I did mention um I think I did mention uh the War Robots uh merch to them a while back saying that maybe they should try take that approach that way they can uh you know be a little bit more balanced with the game and maybe players can play and earn points to redeem like discounts or whatever that they can purchase like merch as another possibility yeah i already talked about call of duty Don't make you angry. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's using uppercase. You just want to be noticed is what you're trying to do. That's why you're spamming the chat in uppercase. But usually when someone spams and they use uppercase the whole time, I ignore them. So that's just going to make you even more angry, I know. But whatever. Yeah. You already have ang anger issues. <laughs> uh, gonna get timed out quick. Yeah, I, I don't even know what they're going on about. They're just spamming and using uppercase. I thought Call of Duty was like dying. I remember I was doing some research because I was kind of curious about the watch time. Or like the new players of Fortnite versus Call of Duty. Um, and if I remember correct, I think it was Call of Duty. But um, if I remember correctly, they said something about Fortnite gains. 
I don't know if it was like watch time or something, but there was uh, something about 1.5 million to 2 million. I think they have like active players or whatever. Call of Duty used to be half a million, but it's dropped down to as much as like 70 or something. Well, yeah, I can't remember what, what the, the figures were, but from what I saw, and these were recent too, Call of Duty is not doing... Isn't there supposed to be a new one? <laughs> will will I play... Will I play Save the World? Uh, I might. Um, ask, will I play with viewers in Fortnite? I already actually do. I already do. Uh, Wonderland will probably know because he watches... Uh, but yeah, I already play with viewers, um, and with time, like, if my channel grows, like, to the point where I can do giveaways, then I can do V-Bucks giveaways, and we can do, like, customs, where I can run with, uh, different viewers and stuff. Warzone Mobile... Uh, what do I think about the state of war robots? <laughs> um, right now it's in a very bad uh, place. We're not even talking about the turrets. That's actually all that. That's like small stuff. But you need to know him. Uh, watch. Yeah, I. So with Fortnite, I do run and I do play with viewers, but I need to get to know them a bit because initially when I first started playing, I was adding everyone. And I ran into some really, really toxic players. And uh, not just toxic players, some that were really annoying too. Um, just to kind of give you like an example. So there was one guy where, uh, it's not actually one guy, that was happened with multiple players. One, like I would add them. And when I add them, they're like, oh, I'm Adrian's friend. So every time I log on to Fortnite, I would get spammed with invites. And if I didn't accept, they kept on spamming over and over again. But what was actually even worse was when I was live streaming, when I was running with my friends in squad, they would keep spamming me. Basically, what they're doing is they're forcing themselves into squad. And that really pissed me off. So what I would do is I'd just go into my friends list, unfriend them, and like just block them completely. Um, so that was just one case. Um, another case was uh, like one guy, he seemed kind of nice. And I added him as a friend, but when we were playing and we would like kill players, he'd be like, take that. And it's like, he goes on, he's like that loser. And I'm like thinking, you do realize that I'm like live streaming and you're calling people losers, right? That's not a nice thing to say. Uh, well, I unfriended him too. <laughs> um, it's just like, you know, players can get really toxic and it's, some will say like, it's like that with war robots because it's pay to win, but it's not, it has nothing to do with pay, pay to win. It's like you either that as a person or you're not um but yeah just like the constant invites and then i had some where when i invite them they would go on comms and they would make the stream like about them they would just gloat endlessly and i'm like thinking geez you may want to like shut up because you're not really that good if you were that good i wouldn't be having to save you and you're running off by yourself doing god knows what you might as well just play solo so yeah, I've run into a lot of those players and I'm a little bit more cautious now when I add someone. Send one invite. If they don't accept, you will... You send another... Yeah, don't... Yeah, if I'm live streaming, like just ask me in the chat and if you can see that I'm in a full squad, then don't do that because I, when it's time, I will ask if anyone wants to join and then I will add whoever's out there. Uh, but yeah, it just got to the point where it was starting to get unbearable and I literally just turned all my invites off. Like, I couldn't take it anymore. I'm like, I just want to play the game, man. And it's not because, like, I'm a big YouTuber or anything, because on that channel, I'm small. It has nothing to do with, like... <laughs> it's just, like, downright annoying. Like, just stop. Like, I want to play the game if I'm ready and I feel like it, I'll invite. Uh, since Roblox got voiced, 
Yeah, you always get like voice chats. Like sometimes, like so when I invite someone, then you know you will get some individuals who think. Well, oh, I'm on li Adrian's live stream now. I'm just going to talk and it's going to be about me. And then they'll just go on and on about how good of a player they are. Uh, if it's not that, then they're running off by themselves. And they're on the other side of the map. I'm like, where is this guy? And I'm like thinking, so you want to you want to join the squad, but you're playing like a solo. Why do you even join the squad? Because every time I'm going and I'm running and then uh, they're getting the whole squad killed because we're trying to save them because they ran off. Like, don't why i'm not even gonna bother with that yeah 1k viewers well wonderland i was facing toxic viewers on this channel when i had like under a thousand like 500 or whatever less it, it's just the way pe it's just weird like it's just funny how like people are when it comes to like online stuff It's squad, not solo. Well, some think it's... I had one guy... <laughs> the other the other night I was playing. One guy comes into my chat. He's like, man, you suck. And I'm like, thanks. I know that. That's I've only been playing for a year. So I don't expect to, to do well. And I was like... And then he kept going on about how good he is. So I was like, whoa, you've been playing for four or five years. How many crown victories do you have? He wouldn't actually tell me how many crown victories he had. I was still waiting for the answer. And then he asked me, how many do you have? So I think I had like 300 and something. And he just kind of like paused and I never heard from him in chat again. But that's the thing, you know, <laughs> it's like, I mean, I don't flex how many crown victories I have. I play obviously to win. I'm very competitive, like I am in more robots. Um, but it's not about the kills. It's not about the crown wins. I just like, I like coming up with strategies and finding ways to win. That's kind of like my thing. Like even when I used to play Quake and Quake 3, um, the clans that I was in, they were really, really high level, like in North America. Um, and quite often I used to be like the mastermind behind like the strategies that we would run. Because I just enjoyed that, trying to analyze how players would play and trying to figure out what would be the best way to win. Um, obviously, you know, I have my hurdles as a player, but that's just how it is. Like it takes a while, you know, with Fortnite, it's not something you can just learn overnight. Like most think it, the learning curve is very high, but once you get the basics down, um, it's more a matter of practicing and like muscle memory at that point. You can't wait to see me. You know, Larry actually said that we should do that uh, one day. I, I do want to try that because the, there's a different way of thinking and we have to stay a lot closer. Also, like carrying like bunkers and stuff. Like your inventory is very different. I'd rather lose every game and have fun. Every game, but not have... Yeah, like sometimes things can get kind of like stressful. I I know, like it that's there's a lot of pressure, you know, like to win. But uh, yeah, that can happen when you start to get very competitive. When they launch the ultra robots, yeah, I actually don't even understand. Actually, I didn't even like the idea of Newton. Uh, when I saw the Newton's ability, I was like, man, you know, players are going to get really annoyed by this. I can only imagine six, uh, you know, six Newtons, like 12 Newtons uh, total out on the field and everyone's just floating around. Like, how annoying is that? Uh, if that's not greed, what... Uh, Andy, a lot of companies, they are focused around money. So, I mean, you will get different, obviously, levels and, like, monetizations within each different uh, company. Uh, you know, Pixonic isn't really, like, the way that they do things is kind of bad. Uh, but that doesn't mean that, like, Epic... So, for example, you see what Epic, like, with Fortnite, the same thing, right? Uh, they were doing... They wanted more money. So what did they do? They kind of broke their agreement or whatever with Apple and Google Play by offering players 
V bucks, like in game currency for less, if they went through their site and they bypassed the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, that is a sign of greed as well. So all companies, all gaming companies to some degree are like that. Whether players will say it or not, you know, that's just how it is. It's the corporate side of things. There will always be uh, that. It's just how, yeah. Uh, the Gareth was a good one. Gareth and Galahad. Those were fun bots to play, although not many played the Gareth because it just died so quick. Now that Tension Seeker, ah, uh, that's the same one, I think. Oh. No, I see what you mean. Yeah, I just ignore them. Hi, Gamesy. Okay, so anyways, we have dragged this on for over two hours. Most of it is only one. This is the funny part. It was one hour playing the behemoth with the Cestus. We played a bit of... <laughs> We played a bit of Armored Core just to explain. Uh, nothing against the players who like the game. It's just for me, I'm not... Like, I can play it for a bit, but I can't see myself playing, like, long hours like I can with Fortnite. So that's why I showed uh, part of Fortnite that I think, you know, players, they are judging the game, but they're judging it based on what they remember it to be. Um, but just like War Robots, you know, Fortnite has evolved uh, to to cater to more players. That's why there's like a zero build. Um, but I do think players should give it a shot and just try it. Try zero builds and let me know if it's kind of what you remember when you played builds. Or maybe you didn't try the game out because you saw the building and you're like, man, I don't, there's no ways I'm going to enjoy this. Try the zero build. It's like PUBG on steroids. It's a lot faster gameplay. Like you move around the map a lot faster for one. Um, but I just like the simplicity of it. And you know what's kind of interesting? Because I tried Battle Bits Remastered. And I think the whole purpose of that game was to try to take like Call of Duty and all of those games. Um, or like Battlefield. It's kind of like taking those games but simplifying it to the point where... Your characters are like Lego men. But you know what? It got so popular. And I thought I would like it. And I did try it out. But I was like, you know, I still, I prefer Fortnite. <laughs> but again, this is just like preference. Like it's, you know, everyone has different preferences. Hi, hi, Aliandro. Or Ali Yan, yeah, that's how you pronounce your name. I was trying to figure out how to pronounce your name. Uh, have I tried the Minos with the pilot? Uh, yes, I have. I find the Minos dies quite quick. Actually, even Indra was dying real fast. I think if I had to choose like Titans, you know, in the current meta, probably uh, definitely Luchador, Rook, and Newton, I think. Is the way that I would go. Two Garrus and are playing the Paladin with the Eighth. Wait, what? I forgot to put the music on, guys. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Maybe I should do. Maybe I should. Uh, Maybe I should do that, like on my channel, do a poll. Would you guys want to see me do like a tutorial? Like just a short, uh, like I'm not going to drag it on or anything. Like maybe I might show some gameplay, but a short tutorial on like Fortnite. Um, why I in, maybe why I enjoy it, but maybe more like an introduction to like the gameplay. You know. Um, what kind of game is it? Uh, you know, how does the storm circle work? 
if you want me to do that kind of video then let me know in the comment section because like i said it's a lot of fun and you know i wouldn't be saying these things uh except i've been playing for over a year now and i've been streaming it for like six to seven hours like i'm not even joking every day for the past like year now if it wasn't fun i wouldn't be doing that i'm not even getting paid for that either because that other channel is not monetized yet um it will be soon but I just really enjoy it. And I'd rather do content for something like I enjoy like that than to do it for like war robots. At this point anyways. Service is getting buffed. I don't think it, the buff will be... If it if it's just an HP buff, I don't think it's going to be enough. Um, I actually think right now they should really look into the balance of Titan Repair Amp though. Like I don't think they should nerf because I think there's going to be a nerf to like Luchador again or whatever. And like Rook. I don't think that's a problem. I think it's Titan Repair Amp that needs to be looked at. I would actually look at that first. And then decide whether the Rook and the Luchador need nerfs. <laughs> you bored with your, your Luchador. It almost lasts too long. Yeah, yeah. That thing's crazy. Hey boss up. Uh have I heard? Yeah, I have heard. But it also doesn't really surprise me because I think he was thinking about doing that for a while already. He was just trying to find the right game. Yeah, I think the repair amp is busted. You know what would be, like I said, what would be kind of interesting? So you know how like my Luchador, how we have like two universals and two defense? They should really give this module configuration to something like the Arthur. Uh, because the Arthur, it's not like it can jump. It has a physical shield, I get that. But it would re really reinforce like what the Arthur is. And I think it would be kind of interesting to see like this kind of module configuration on the Arthur as like a buff i mean you would still need to get like the modules and stuff um it's just that it would be helpful to have it be more of a defensive because it really is but really tanky Because of the, the construction thing, you kind of like that they made separate modes without knowing more about it could make you enjoy it. Yeah, no, I think a lot of I think a lot of players kind of hate Fortnite or they don't want to get into it because their thinking is, and you know, for a good reason because that's kind of how Fortnite started, um, is because of the building. You know, you don't want to get into the building. You see when you see videos, you see players editing and walls going up and stuff and it looks really complicated so um you don't want to try it out because of that and i was actually one of those players by the way um the only reason why i gave it a shot was because i heard that my uh, cousin so this was last year and i kind of mentioned it. my cousin uh told me that he just wanted to play some like like fortnite and i was like oh you play fortnite he's like yeah 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 i play actually with my with my other friend and the friend that he mentioned, I used to go to school with. Like, we used to go to school together. Um, like, way, way, way back. So I was like, well, man, if they're all playing it, it's not like they're big kind of gamers. Like, they play casually. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to give it a shot. And I initially, when I started, I was like, oh, this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be because I thought it was a lot of building. And there was initially some building, uh, but it wasn't like... Um, complicated or anything and then one day my friend uh we started talking on like the chat he actually invited me to <laughs> his squad i had only played for three days and i got thrown into a squad game you can only imagine i was so confused things were happening so fast and i was like man i just got whipped like 
<laughs> I've never been whooped so bad before like in a game but I I dropped in and they were moving across the map so fast I was like what the heck's going on and then they were playing zero build and I'm like how and I was like what are we playing now and they're like zero build it just came out and I was like zero build yeah they're like yeah no building so we we <laughs> Back then they had, I think they had the grappling glove and like shockwaves. So my friends, like him and his buddies, they were using shockwaves and grappling around. I'm running around the map trying to keep up with them. And then they run into a team and I freaking got like sniped or something or shot. And I didn't even know where it was coming from. Because I was new to the game. Like I'd only played like three days. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. I was like, okay. But you know what? I kind of enjoyed even though i kind of suck really bad i was kind of enjoying it not getting whooped not that part but like being in a squad or whatever and learning from them oh uh, that's how you felt when you first squatted with me yeah i know i move i move a lot but you know i kind of forget that i move so fast now in the game because i used to be like a lot slower <laughs> it's hard it's hard to that that's why i i wish that in a way that i had brought fortnite to this channel because to ex to see me struggle and experience that journey i think would have been kind of interesting but i mean i can still go over like what i like my progress and you know at this point it's only gonna improve I still haven't reached where I want to be because I'm still struggling with a couple of things too. Uh, more the weapon switching that's freaking getting me killed all the time. But that's a whole nother, that's more by habit. I need to get out of that really bad habit because it's getting me killed so often. They kept doing, uh, well, Milo, that's the thing. You know, players want me to do videos, um, about talking about that but i don't want my channel to be because the thing is when you go down that route you know you attract others that are like toxic and negative and then that's all you see in the comment section and i i really don't want my channel to go down that i'd rather just switch a game and then you know build towards something that's a little bit more positive than to stick around and just be some sort of toxic community Uh, where do I stream Fortnite? On the Zoopy Loop uh, channel. I don't even know if I have. Do I have? Hold on. Um... Okay, so. Hold on. And that's probably. Can I find. You know what? I'm going to. Uh... Let me just get the link. Yeah, if you don't think that I've been, uh, like, I haven't even published all of my live streams from when I started. Some were saying that I should, but I kid you not. I've been streaming Fortnite for over a year now. Every single, well, almost every single day, pretty much. Yeah, I, I, put, I put it in the chat. If you click on that, that's the link. Um, but I've been streaming every day for just over a year and usually when i stream it's like six to seven i'm not even joking it's 67 hours it's almost embarrassing to say 67 hours a day in some cases even longer than that like than that ramil's always yeah he's always late but i think it's time difference too yeah so i will be streaming i'll stream um i'll stream fortnite on sunday um, but I'm going to actually stream Fortnite later on. Maybe this afternoon or tonight. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, Yuri, Yuri can tell you and Bossa can tell you. I've been streaming like every day, right? You can tell them. Almost eight. Uh, yeah, okay. I may have said six hours, six, seven hours. Yeah, some, some days are eight hours. Or maybe even more. Whatever. Way too long. Yeah, I know, but I enjoy the game. Like I said, I wouldn't be promoting it if I didn't enjoy it. And wouldn't you rather play a game that I enjoy? Because <laughs> there must be a reason why, no? It's got to be a good game to, to live stream it that long. You see, like, this is this is the thing. 
I could play Armored Core, but I don't think I could stream or I could play it for that long. I rather I rather put out content for a game that I could play that long. Uh, by the time that Cestus gets nerfed, you could have maxed out running Nucleons. Uh, yeah, you could use Nucleons. Although, you know what? I think if I had to do a build, instead of instead of the Nucleons, I would actually use maybe something like Decay. I think Decay would not only hit harder, but you would have more range than Nucleons. It would be more focused. Which might actually even help with the next um, robot. You can farm your... No, I don't want that. Wait, are you talking about my Fortnite channel? <laughs> no, I, don't, I definitely don't want that. I mean, if you enjoy the content, that's all I ask. I enjoy Ramil panicking and the jaw screaming. <laughs> the, the other reason why I like Fortnite is because we have a lot of funny moments. Um, like you guys have, <laughs> you guys have no idea. You gotta, you gotta be there to experience it when it happens. But we have a lot of funny moments, a lot more than War Robots would ever have. You know, even, even if the game didn't change from 2014 to 2015, I have had more funny moments, like way more. Like it's almost like a night, like every night kind of thing. Like, cause you get sometimes these weird bugs that happen. <laughs> Like the other night where like one of my teammates, she got knocked, uh, she was crawling on the ground because we both got knocked down and she was spewing like uh, slurp juice or whatever it was. And I'm like, it, it actually didn't, it didn't register with me at the time. Or at least initially I'm looking, I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, man, you're leaking. <laughs> it sounded so bad, but it was so funny because we're looking and it's, just like stuff spewing out while she's crawling on the ground i'm like whoa <laughs> that's really messed up but we have funny moments too like uh well you actually saw it earlier where i was using the rocket ram going through the building and it didn't take me long for that like to happen it's just these are just crazy things that happen i need to post some funny moments yeah well, the thing is, because I'm so focused on War Robots, I don't get the time to do that. If I do, then it takes away from my live streaming uh, time, so that's why I don't do it. But yeah, we have a lot of funny... Do you have... Um... Do I have my voice? Yeah, no, we do. We do. Um, as long as they're not, like, too loud or they have a lot of background noise or, like, they're screaming in the mic. Yeah. Yeah, because I've, I've had that too. Yeah. Or maybe their mic just sucks and then I'll just kind of mute. Like if it's... Because some of them, like they join and then all of a sudden I hear an echo. Um, in that case, I will mute. Because it's just annoying to uh, watch. Uh, what about my baby account? Yeah, I still have my baby account. Um, I... Like I said, I don't like putting videos out on that uh, because every time I do, players get really toxic <laughs> and I get a lot of dislikes and stuff. So I get hesitant to post more on it. You use headphones and your door is always sealed. Yeah, but you can have a, you can have headphones or you can have a mic. Uh, if the quality is bad and it echoes or whatever, it's like what's bad, it's bad. But if it's clear and stuff, then I'm good. You know what's work? Yeah, I, I have no idea. It could be a lot of things actually. Like when you get an echo, it could be that you're too close to your mic. Uh, it could be that you're listening through like speakers because that you can get feedback with that. Uh, it could be setting in Windows if you use PC. There's a lot of things it could be. Uh, what is Memorium? So Memorium is what you use. I actually did a video on it, uh, but you use it to level up like your pilot skills and stuff. Uh, both pilots for robots and for um, Titan pilots. 
I would I would do a search on my channel for the memoriam. I did a video on it uh, that should explain everything. Uh, that's sad because gameplays on low leagues are better and more enjoyable. Yeah, I, yeah, when I, one of the things I said, you know, like, I, I don't have a problem putting out gameplay on the baby account. It's just that I noticed, like, as that account started to grow, players started to get, I guess, more jealous. I just noticed that the toxic levels in the comments got worse and worse. <laughs> And then, like, eventually the one video I put out, like I said, I still remember, like, because it was such bad metrics. I had over, like, 700 dislikes. The worst performing video on my channel ever was a baby account video of all videos. Which is, like, it's just mind-boggling. Like, I was, like, scratching my head thinking, like, how is that even possible? And then I was going back thinking, like, maybe I said something or maybe I showed something. And I was like, no. And others were watching and they're like, I don't understand how you got so many dislikes. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you're struggling. I'm also trying to figure it out. Yeah, so that's why I was like, I, I was just like kind of confused. How long have I been playing uh, War Robot since 2014? Long time. Back then, only had three currencies. Uh, well, actually, technically, there was only two. It was silver and gold. Um, they came in with um, they came in with workshop currency afterwards, but then that got changed. Um, it was like restructured. Seven hundred. Well, actually, almost eight hundred dislikes. But yeah, who's counting? <laughs> It was just really bad. Uh, Mr. Moto Shark. Yeah, if you don't agree, this is the reason why I want. I would rather do something like Fortnite. But again, like players have got to give the game a chance, uh, and they they have to give me a chance to kind of explain why I enjoy that game. But if you're not, then I can't switch straight away. But like I said, I would rather prefer to play that game just because it. I think in the long run it would be healthier for my channel, but also it would support my channel more. And on top of that, I enjoy it. I don't have, like, I don't mind live streaming it and, you know, being able to run with, like, my viewers. Uh, it's on, first of all, it's 100% free. It's, you can play it on all platforms too. It's a lot of fun. I stream that game, well, I have been streaming that game for over a year every single day on my other channel and that's not even monetized like i wouldn't be telling you these things like if i enjoy it i enjoy it right the fact that i'm it's not even monetized is a lot but at some point <laughs> i do need to support myself so i think you know at some point i do need to it would be nice to monetize that stuff um and just like do what i love Which shows that you and Manny even went to... Can you talk a minute about that experience? Um, yeah, I actually went before then, uh, but we met up and we kind of did our presentations, which is a whole nother thing. So get this, when I, <laughs> when I arrived there, uh, in their offices, they, would, they told me... Well, they told the, um, the creators at the time that, you know, we're going to be doing the presentations. And I'm like, oh, there's presentations. And I think they thought that I was kind of like playing it up and I was joking. But I was like, oh, I didn't know that I had to do a presentation. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do a presentation like everyone else. And I was like, well, no one told me. It just goes to tell you how like organized they were. So I literally had like 20 minutes to prepare a presentation. Likely the, the year before you know, I had already visited them, so I kind of based it off that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that was my experience. Uh, but yeah, um, so when we went there, uh, we spoke about some of the problems in the game uh, that we would like to see kind of addressed. 
I think we were talking, I'm trying to remember what, you know, some of the things, because I, I had kind of made it, uh, like I did a video, but we're talking about things like matchmaking. Um, I think we were talking about like balance changes as well. Uh, definitely matchmaking was a big topic. I remember that and the economy, the, the, the year before I was talking about the economy. But yeah, we spoke about that and then we did, um, um, then, oh, then it was YouTubers versus Pixonic. We played like a tournament game. Well, not tournament. It was more like friendly games. Um, I played, Manny didn't play though, because, um, I guess he's not comfortable playing on like an iPad and stuff. Like he plays on emulator. Uh, so he did the commentary and I, I played with a bunch of other YouTubers and we played against, uh, Pixonic. He's a very nice guy though. Very different to like what I, well, no, I wouldn't say it's very different. I, I just kind of different feel like when I see his videos and then, you know, as a person, but he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Uh, should you assume that the problems at that time were the same as today? Um, some of them. Yeah, some of them, but today it's a lot worse. But also, like, things have been restructured too. Like, I think they switched ownerships and all that other kind of stuff when... The time we played... Yeah, we played against... Manny wasn't... He was... That was when he was doing commentary with... I think it was Stan. Yeah, when Stan was still there. Okay, so anyways, guys, you know what? I think I'm going to wrap things up here because I just realized how long the stream has been going for. I was only going to stream for like one hour. We're almost at three hours. This is how my streams always go. Friends call War Robots pay to win and can't argue with that. The only reason why I see it different, I think it's more pay for power. Um, the whole winning part is debatable. A lot of players will say, well, yeah, you get the best stuff, you win the game. But if you look at today's games, like um, the first few games, when I was looking at like the enemy's hangers or like my team's hangers, and you see how they play, they didn't win. So it's more pay for power. Um, if you look at, for example, the one game where we played on Roadmap, right? The enemy... The enemy team didn't even get their home beacon. And now you can't say it's because they didn't pay. Because when you look at their hangar, a lot of them were actually... I think I looked at their hangers. They were maxed out. Like, not maxed out, but they were high level. Which means they've obviously spent. Um, now, you could argue, well, yeah, but Adrian, you won because you had a maxed hangar. No, it wasn't me because of that. The bottom line is these guys didn't even cap their own home beacon, which is 50 meters from their home spawn. And that's the reason why they lost. So in that case, you know, is it pay to win or is it pay for power? It's pay for power, but uh, where it becomes more pay to win is more when you play in the top squad battles because then everyone is maxed out. Then it makes a difference on what meta you have and how much of it. So like, for example, if I don't know, Nether or like Lynx is the meta, it then it will matter how many of those you have in your hangar. And also the fact that it's maxed out. Because then at that point, this is why I say it tends to happen more at the extreme levels. But most players will never experience that because uh, that, that you know those group of players, they only let you in if you're maxed out. So if you're not at that level, then you won't get into those clans. It's just how it is. Meta was always a thing, but today the economy is way worse. The metas are, yeah, there will always be like a meta. You know, even even in uh, Ahmed Core, I was watching a video last night, um, and this guy was talking about how this one combination or whatever in Ahmed Core that he uses is like 
he doesn't use it because it's basically broken <laughs> um and everyone has kind of figured out so they're all starting to run it now i don't know what what the combo was because i don't follow that game too much but it just goes to show you like even in that game uh where you think like everything is balanced someone will figure it out you know and once they figure it out everyone starts running it that's when the gaming company has to go in and kind of rebalance but that's how it like it and you know they probably tested it a lot but there will always be those players that figure it out that's why it takes time to develop like the meta you, you, players need to play and sometimes what you think is going to be the meta isn't the meta like it doesn't end up being that way lots of bugs and yeah the thing that really annoys me is like the cheaters and the hackers and stuff but i think what disgusts me more is the fact that some of the smaller creators were rigging giveaways that just makes me sick to the stomach like i don't even want to be part of a creator program when you have that stuff going on because that's a reflection on me now right uh, that's why i don't uh yeah i I don't want to be a part of that. That's why my views have like, um, my view on things has changed so drastically. Um, but anyways, guys, um, I do want to uh, end things here. Actually, why is it? Is my live stream working? Like the chat froze up or something? I don't know what's going on. Okay, no, it is working now. That was weird. YouTube changed something again. There's a difference between uh, players figuring out and creating a meta and content purposely being released uh, broken. Yeah, they, that's true too. That's true too. Maybe some viewers think that I'm this. No, that's, uh, they will. Yeah, they will. They will always think that. And it's kind of funny that like those that think, you know, they, they think that I was doing it and they had a lot to criticize. And when they were given the same power, they did exactly what they criticize me of doing which makes them hypocrites so uh but they're far worse than me at least i run my uh my giveaways fairly and usually you know quite often there might be someone in my clan that did win you know quite often like for example togi um, i would ask him if he wants to give up his prize for example or you know he wants to go ahead with it more often than not my clan mates would give up their prizes and you know togi that didn't he didn't even have like a maxed hanger like he's not even running a meta but he gave up prizes because he knew there were others out there that um were less fortunate and he wanted them to rather have their prize which is really nice of him because like you don't get many people like that yeah so that's um it's a pity that like Vox, we don't squad together, but we have our reasons why. Um, but anyways, before I get going, thank you very much to Dark Warrior, Lone Smiley, Togi, Dominic Kine, uh, Jack, Goose, and Frederick for helping to moderate today's live stream chat. Much appreciated. Uh, if they have YouTube channels, make sure to check them out as well. Um, also... I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any War Robots tomorrow, if there's like a test server or whatever. Um, like I said, you know, I am gradually scaling back from like War Robots content. So if you're wondering like why there might be a little bit less, like on Sundays, for example, that's the reason why. Uh, because of the state of the game. Uh, lags and the too fast changes in the meta. Yeah, I, I don't even really talk about like I don't talk about the balance of the game and matchmaking and stuff because while that's important, you know, letting like cheaters and all of that into the game, that's ex it's far worse. He would never give up his high heels. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, yeah, it just goes to show you like, you know, there's a lot that will judge me on certain things, but then when they are put in my position, they really do exploit to the worst then you really see like the ugly side of them 
and you think they're nice people but man like some of them i won't name names here but you know they sit they seem like really nice people but then when i started to see what they were, they were doing in like chats i'm like oh my gosh yeah i really don't want anything to do with that sad that it has come to this way but you guys are great content creators and yeah thanks uh thanks Venetius. yeah like i said i like for me i would actually like to do more fortnite content on this channel but i think also viewers need to give me a chance to explain why i enjoy that game and they need to also i think they need to give fortnite a chance they need to experience it the way i did in order to understand where i'm coming from because i think when you get into it it will spoil you <laughs> when it comes to other games because like it sets the bar very high and i can kind of understand now why it has been around for so long uh if you look at like the watch hours on like twitch for example i think it ranks like i think it ranks like fifth or sixth even ahead of minecraft by the way um you know i think who was it that i was like talking about i think it was actually danny lightning because we were kind of discussing this and i think i have like hold on oh wait no wait it might have been pinceladas yeah it might have been pinceladas so i i had a chart like a while back so basically fortnite is ahead of minecraft in terms of watch hour uh the only thing higher is like valorant grand theft auto league of legends and counter strike but remember fortnite's been around for what five or six years the fact that it's like number five or six is kind of crazy but what's even crazier is that um so it says yeah has it a lot of players say that fortnite's dead right well it has at least half a million players at any given moment and its daily peak is usually 1.5 to 2 million on current players and this is like recent you guys mentioned call of duty right uh it's it's all-time peak was less than half a million on steam but it has been all the way down to seventy thousand. so in comparison call of duty doesn't even come close to fortnite and these are recent numbers too, by the way. Uh, do I know Danny Lighting? Yeah, quite often I, I speak with the other the other creators. Like I've been speaking with um, with Danny Lightning, with uh, AD Gaming. I've been speaking with him too. Call of Duty is... Well, I don't know. I haven't played, so I can't really say... <laughs> I, I don't want to judge it that way like I did with like Fortnite. Because look at what I'm doing now. You can find some wholesome players in War Robots, some acting fake. I think that's not just War Robots, it's any game. Pranjit? I remember watching Pranjit. You got bored of it? I think those games are like fun initially until you play it like a lot and if not much changes like if it's just different maps you will still get bored um the difference between like those games and like fortnite not only do they make changes to the map so every year like i think the way that they've been structuring it every year the map the whole map will change and then every i think it's every three months they will change a part of that map that's how like the current map has changed um like four times or whatever three yeah four four times so parts of the map change like four times um during those changes not only they make changes to the map they make changes to the loot so for example the shotguns will change the smgs or the pistols would change um the assault rifles will change or the snipers would change your mobility items will change and they're constantly changing vaulting and unvaulting or bringing new items uh they're constantly changing that so that players have to adapt but it keeps things fresh that's what i like about uh, fortnite 
uh what's my opinion on manny quitting i think he he wanted to quit for a while he just needed you know a game that he was happy playing um i don't have anything against him he's a great content creator he did a lot for war robots um i think pixonic uh needs to listen to the creators more um because they can ignore it all they want uh but when you start seeing like players and your your top creators leave uh the game i mean he left i'm sort of moving in that direction too it's kind of an embarrassment if you ask me to their, their company i mean just think you even created pilots for your creators and they're leaving that's kind of a that's kind of bad he was said it was going to happen i think that will happen with any game though nothing lasts forever one door closes another one opens you know one journey ends another journey starts it's always like that okay so anyways guys i think that's going to be it uh for the stream um you guys can let me know if you would like to see like me getting into fortnite i know there's going to be some that don't like it and they have their reasons but uh give me a chance at least <laughs> to explain why i enjoy it and i can show you um like at least beginner like i needed to play the game for a while to see if it was worth me enjoying it um like i said i've been playing for a year and i've been streaming every single day for like six seven hours or eight who's counting <laughs> uh I wouldn't be doing that if I didn't enjoy it. And I think it would be nice if my viewers kind of joined me on like that journey if I decide to take it. Um, because it's a lot of fun and it's free. Like you don't have to pay anything for that. Uh, Gimsy, I do know Pranjit. I haven't seen him in a while though. Okay, so anyways guys, I think that's going to be it. I've been trying to end the stream for like the past hour. <laughs> We're still here chatting. Maybe I should just do a Q&A one day. So anyways, um, not sure if there's going to be anything coming out uh, of my channel tomorrow. Sunday, I probably going to be live streaming Fortnite. Give you a glimpse of what it's like to be in squad play and stuff. Uh, if that interests you, definitely make sure you stay tuned. Also, let me know in the, in the chat, after, well, in the comment section after the stream is done. Uh, if you would like me to do like guides and stuff for Fortnite, um i would be more than happy to go through that um yeah just let me know and i think that's uh, pretty much it so thank you guys for dropping by thank you for watching if you enjoyed today's live stream make sure you leave a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't already and with that said i will catch you guys probably in the next live stream uh, if you're following me following me rather on Fortnite, that'll probably be later this afternoon uh, or tonight and then again on sunday uh, on this main channel okay so i think that should be it and for that said i will catch you guys later cheers guys